Okay, Alice, this is Chris. I'm just going to give you a little uh, tour of some of the railing options. Now, some of them are too big. Some of them are newel posts and some of them are handrails, but uh, I'll set that back. But I wanted to kind of give you an option here to look at railings like some spindles. So let's look at that. Just standard oak, and I'll set a few aside here. And you can do a little shop at home thanks to thanks to YouTube Got a few you know different options here and some really neat stuff so I'm going to take a look at that some interesting the different some some are just uh, tapered real simple at the top and turned at the bottom some are square some are turned or squared and turned and but and some are thinner than others all right and we get in to some neat metal options here which I will show you so a little bit of a twist in some and a little bit of a little bit of jazz or simple that now we can make anything but figure the fewer options the better to get started so your metal simple wood some of the uh, hey comfort some of the newel post options along with pickets and there you go and a simple handrail option here too and it would all be uh, cabinet grade um, finished in the shop so far better quality than um, uh, site finished all right and if you look at it a little mock-up here we'll show you you know how everything is nice and tight and actually you come off just to kind of show you how it goes it's all one piece it's all oak or whatever species it looks like uh, you know your, your, your existing flooring is definitely oak so you would have an oak tread and an oak riser or you could do a painted riser and then the scroll work on the sides could be any shape and we can cover up that uh, shadow of the existing scroll that you have um, and you need to do some touch-up painting afterwards so the best thing to do is we'll come in and do the work and you have a painter come in and paint the stringers the the side like if you're looking at your stairs the side of the wall where the stairs end your basements are box steps like that your stairs going up are one-handed our are, are right hand uh, returns like this so when we're done the painter will need to, to repaint the stringers on both sides of the basement steps if you do the basement steps and then on the left side of the stairs going up all right and then do some touch up around uh, here and we're going to do some invasive stuff to get those railings nice and secure which is a good thing and uh, we'll go from there so I hope this helps you and then we can talk about uh, uh, for slip resistance uh, because the new stairs would be definitely slippery so if you're walking in your stocking feet or in slippers uh, a runner would be a really nice thing and we've got different stair rod options and a ton of beautiful wool remnants um, perfect for doing a runner uh, at a fraction of what it would cost to do um, a special order wool runner and we also stock some uh, pre-made runners as well so and we can show you all that too so i hope this little, little bit helps you before you come on in and we'll see you